So I think we made exactly the right decision given all the facts and circumstances. Uh, we certainly didn't know that the church was sitting on complaints about him. Um, they weren't available to us. And even if we'd known that, it wouldn't have changed what we could do in that instance for those boys. But did you know that the Boston Police Department and the Social Services had done two prior investigations on other cases? This is according to Bishop's accountability. Um, that there were other substantiated claims that might also not have risen to the level of charges, but could have um, alerted people to what kind of person this was, had it been in, tried in a public court. But see, we didn't know that, and there was no way for us to know that, either from the church or from Boston. That would have also been irrelevant to these charges. What was most important and what we accomplished was taking Father Gagan out of commission, basically, letting the church know that we knew, getting psychiatric records that he waived his privileges for that we used uh, later on. That was the first complaint that we had had in Middlesex County around Father Gagan. We did exactly what we should have done. I've been protecting kids for uh, a long time and then had experience knowing that we had limited options. We did exactly what we should do. We went the extra mile to keep those kids safe and to keep other kids safe. Why couldn't you get the church records? Uh, they were not available to us. They didn't. Um, we tried in a prior case. We had just tried uh, against Father Manning. They were not relevant to this particular charge. Uh, we knew that. Um, well, first of all, we didn't know the church had other records at the time. There was no way to know that. This was the first public complaint that we had had about Father Gagan. Uh, we had no idea that they were sitting on thousands and thousands of documents. And so, even if we had gotten those records, they wouldn't have affected what we could do about Father Gagan at that time, and we did exactly what we should have done. Do you think you'll lose some votes from those victims? I don't believe so at all. I think that people know that I have a strong record as a child abuse prosecutor, that we took 900 cases a year, we fought for every case we could, we brought charges when they were appropriate, we tried to keep the kids safe when we couldn't bring charges. That's what we did in this case. I stand on my record as a prosecutor, and I will not take a back seat to anybody on my record as protecting kids and keeping kids safe. So you're saying you didn't see any DSS or Boston Public Police Department, any other uh, information about it? I was David? the district attorney in Middlesex County. We wouldn't have seen that or had access to it. And in particular, in this case, there was no DSS involvement because um, it didn't involve a caretaker. And so we worked with uh, just the mom and uh, the police in this case. Uh, we did everything we could have. And I believe that we did a very good job in recognizing uh, that we were limited in what we could do, but in getting Father Gagan out of commission, on probation, not to have contact with him, particularly having to go to a psychotherapist. And we had access to those records. That was an important first step for many of the cases that, remember, we brought successfully after that to convict him uh, and to hold him accountable. If there is uh, uh, anyone uh, here who should answer to this, it should be the Archdiocese. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.